More and more now we are working globally. So that means we must often have to change our Google Sheets to suit the country and time zone of our client and even their language. In this tutorial, we're going to go over changing the time zone, date and currency for the entire Google Sheet. So follow along and let's take a look. Now to change the time zone, date and country for your entire Google Sheet, it's a pretty quick and easy process. All you need to do is go to File and down the bottom, you'll see Spreadsheet Settings. Click that and a pop-up window will appear. Here you have settings for this spreadsheet. You, you can see the locale, which for me is Australia, and the time zone, which is GMT plus 10. This locale is set to whatever display language you have entered into your Google email or G Suite account. So you can see here my display language is English Australia. If I was to click that, that would go into my Gmail account with my personal details and preferred language, which is Australian English or the Australian male mumble. To change your locale, you just select the drop down menu and choose your preferred country. And this will affect formatting details such as functions, dates and current, and probably also languages as well. Let's change our locale to the US. Uh, that way we can see the change in the date. As you can see over the left hand side, this is just a today function, which is automatically going to update the date and the uh, date and time here. So let's click on that and we'll go to United States, which is down the bottom here and we'll click. And we can also change the time zone while you're here, which will reflect be reflected up here in this now button. So these dollar signs are going to stay the same because our dollar sign is the same as US dollar sign. So we'll go up the top and we'll see if we can find a US time zone. Let's go with mountain time seems pretty cool. Arizona, hey? We'll click on that and you can see nothing's changed yet. It won't change until we hit save settings. So let's click that and it'll refresh and may take a little bit of time here. But now you can see that the date has changed. So now instead of in uh, British and Australian uh, English, we have uh, the day, month and year. Now it's changed to the US uh, date format, which is month, day and year. And you can see also the time has changed. Uh, currency obviously isn't going to change and it won't do an exchange rate either. But now if I have a client in the States, it is now all set up. All right, so what about the UK? Let's try that one more time for one final example. Spreadsheet settings, open up our pop-up. Let's go to the UK here and we'll change our time zone to GMT. So GMT zero, so here it is here and it's London, that will do. Click on him and save settings. Okay, so this time now you might think that these dollar signs are going to change the British pounds, but they won't. Uh, you, but you will see the pound change here, and you should also see the date and time change here. Remember, UK, Australia, the uh, day, then month, then year format. So keep an eye on that when it updates. Let's go save settings. And done. So you can see that's changed around, and you can see it's the following day also in the UK right now. And the time is just after midnight. So the dollar signs haven't changed, but you can see the British pound symbol is up here. And if we click it, it'll change the pounds. And we can do that again. It'll change again. And click it again. It'll change again. Don't worry about this time changing because we've set it to, to now. Every time you make an action on the sheet, it will update itself. So that's it for changing the time zone, date and currency for the entire Google Sheet. If you liked the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these tutorials, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next tutorial.